Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. As some of them have insisted me to do Lagrange's problem, so I am solving the Lagrange's problem only for you people. So kindly do share this uh, video with your friends. It may be helpful for them also. And uh, don't forget to press like button. In this video, I will be solving the problems of uh, Lagrange's interpolation. So using Lagrange's interpolation formula, we can solve. Uh, this given set of data and interpolate at x equal to some constant called k. So here is the one problem of that kind. So find y at x equal to 5 if y of this is nothing but y of x naught equal to y naught y of x1 equal to y1 like that up to they have given y of x3 equal to y3. So using Lagrange's interpolation formula, I need to find y at x equal to 5. I need to find y of 5. I need to find y of 5. So that is what, how to find out y of 5 by using Lagrange's interpolation. Let us see now. So consider the given data and note down what is the values x0, x1, x2, x3. How we can represent x0? This is the value x0. This is the value x1 this is the value x2 and this is the value x3 similarly y0 this is y0 y1 y2 y3 so just i will making one change here in place of y0 i am making this as plus 3 consider this as plus 3 and solve as i have considered plus 3 you can go with minus 3 also and solve whatever you are going to get the answer you can verify that answer so I have note down that and I need to find out f of phi here or y of phi. So by using Lagrange's interpolation formula, they have been provided, they are going to provide an handbook for you. You can use that handbook and see the formula there. So you are going to get x minus x1 as the values are ending up to x3. That's why I am written in standard form x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 divided by what is the term left out x0 out of these terms I left out with x0 so in the denominator you in replace x by what x0 in the denominator and multiply throughout by y0 plus I am going to leave in the second term I am going to leave x1 x minus x0 x minus x2 x minus x3 divided by the left out term difference with left out term x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 multiplied by y1 so similarly the third term will be leave x2 term now x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x3 divided by x2 minus x0 into x2 minus x1 into x2 minus x3 multiplied by y2 plus similarly uh, leave the last term that is x3 x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 divided by x3 minus x0 x3 minus x1 into x3 minus x2 multiplied by y3 this is what the lagrange's interpolation formula by using your handbook you can write down so after noting down this formula you go with just substitution what is x here x is 5 substitute that value you know what is the respective values called x0 x1 y x2 x3 y0 y1 y2 y3 just substitute in this formula i have done that part and simplified that just i will tell you first term here see here first term is what x x is what 5 5 minus x1 that is 3 5 minus 1 is what 2 into 5 minus 4 is 1 5 minus 6 is minus 1 all divided by x0 values what 1 1 minus 2 1 minus 3 is minus 2 next 1 minus 4 is minus uh, minus 3 1 minus uh, 4 sorry 1 minus 6 uh, will be minus 5 this is what i have written here this is what i have written and multiplied by the value y0 so similarly go with the second term going with the third term going with the fourth term simplify individually simplify this term individually and get the value as 1 by 5 the next value i am getting one minus 6 the next value 40 and then last value is 176 by 5 simplifying that i got the answer as 69.4 so that is what f of 5 by using lagrange's interpolation formula just interpolate the value of phi since it is unequal interval the given values are unequal interval i am finding out the in interpolating value called 
5 here. The between 4 and 6, I have 5. I am finding out y of 5. So, let us move on to the next problem. Consider the same concept. But in this, I am going to find out polynomial. Using this, using Lagrange's interpolation formula, fit a polynomial. I need to fit a polynomial which passes through the points. That is x0, y0, x1, y1, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 and then estimate the value of y when x equal to 2.2 I need to find. So, I will note down what is the values x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. I have note down. Then I need to find out what first y of x equal to question mark. Polynomial equation I need to find. Then I need to find what y of 2.2. I need to find y of 2.2. So, by using Lagrange's interpolation, as I explained in the previous problem, I have note down the standard formula. I have note down the standard formula. So, but in this case, I will not be substituting x value. I will retain as it is. I will be substituting the values x1, x, x0, x1, x2, x3, y0, y1, y2, y3. That is what I have done in this part. In this part, that is what I have done. Just substitution of x0, x1, x2, x3 y0, y1, y2, y3. Then go with simplification. So, denominator, we can simplify denominator. So, th as the first term is multiplied by 0, so I can strike off this uh, old term, terms to 0. So, retain with the only 3 terms, simplify that part. That is what the simplification I am doing. Here 2, 2 get cancelled, cancel that term. Here 3 ones are 3, uh, 3 threes are get cancelled. So, here in the last term, 4 twos are 8, 8, 8 get cancelled. So, go with further simplification, expand these two factors, expand these two factors, I got x square minus 5x plus 6, similarly from the second term, I got x square minus 4x plus 3, from the third term, I got x square minus 3x plus 2. Then expand this again, expand these two co factors, that is what I have done, multiply by x throughout, I got x cube minus 5x square plus 6x. Then multiply by plus 1, I got plus x square minus 5x plus 6. Then going with the next term, multiply by minus 3x, multiply by minus 3x inside first. So, I got minus 3x cube plus, since minus into minus plus 12x square minus 9x, multiply by minus 3. So, I got minus 3x square plus 12x minus 9. Next, multiply by x first, then multiply by 1, I got this expression. Then, collecting the, simplifying further and collecting the coefficient of x cube, I got this. Collecting the coefficient of x square, I got this term. Collecting the coefficient of x, I got this. The constant term, I got this. So, simplifying this, I got a polynomial equation. This is what the polynomial equation called minus 3 by 2 x cube plus 5 x square plus 5 by 2 x minus 4 is the required polynomial equation. Required polynomial equation. Then substitute x equal to 2.2 in that expression. I am going to get 7 point, sorry, 9.7280. How to calculate? I will show in the calculator. You can see. So take out your calculator. Now calculate minus 3. Go with the fraction minus 3 alpha x alpha x divided by alpha x cube we have okay alpha x cube shift cube divided by 2 divided by 2 plus use joystick plus 5 x square 5 alpha x square plus square plus 5 by 2, take a fraction, 5x, 5 alpha x by 2 by 2 minus 4, minus 4, minus 4 plus calci, give x equal to, give x equal to 2.2, then equal to, plus equal to, you got the value as 9.7280. This is the way to calculate the required answer for the given problem. 
so this is how easy to solve the problems of lagrange's interpolation formula by using lagrange's interpolation formula you can easily solve already you will be having ready made formula just substitute the values of x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 similarly multiplied with y0 y1 y2 y3 up to yn so that's all so it is very easy you can easily score this uh, you can easily score uh, marks from this part so do no one should miss this question so easy to attempt so attempt easily and score very good marks i thank you all for watching this uh, youtube those who are not subscribed to my youtube channel do subscribe to my youtube channel